Hey everyone! Welcome back and welcome if you're new. In this video, I'm going to be sharing a mini tour of my ceramic space when I first started hand building at home, some recent ceramic creations I've made sprinkled in with some day-to-day -day stuff. I started taking a class at my local ceramic studio in February. The class studio is nice, but I quickly realized that I wanted to practice outside of class and wanted a dedicated space for this. I started in my kitchen. As you can see, the kitchen table isn't big at all, but you don't need a ton of space to get started. Other than clay and some starter tools, items that really made my life easier was getting a turntable sculpting wheel. Honestly, I didn't know if I wanted to make more ceramics at this time and didn't want to spend a lot of money on supplies. I ended up purchasing this one, which is 11 inches in plastic for around $16 USD. It's not as heavy duty as some of the professional ones, but I love it and it gets the job done. The other thing I got that was pretty important is this cotton canvas drop cloth. The texture of it feels pretty similar to linen, but it's pretty thick and I got a big piece that I cut into three sections. One cloth I use for red clay, one cloth I use for white or just the standard, and the other one is the biggest one I use as a table cover. This really helps with keeping surfaces clean and prevents any staining from different colored clay. It also helps with covering the clay when you're creating slabs with a rolling pin so the clay doesn't stick to the pin. So this worked for a while, actually, all throughout the holidays, I just built at the kitchen table. But sometimes I would want to leave a pot or sculpture out to dry and it would just take up a lot of space. It wasn't great when we also wanted to eat at the table. I finally decided to get a dedicated table for building. This table I got was actually from Ikea and I drilled lug holes into it. I was at first a little apprehensive if the legs would be strong enough for such a heavy countertop, but it's held up pretty well and I used it for a few months regularly. Here's a small mug I recently made for a friend. I painted it using watercolor underglaze and did some scraffito on the top, or etchings, into the surface of the clay to highlight the details. Since I'm shipping it off, I want to make sure it's safe and secure. It still feels like we're in winter here on certain days, so I wanted to try and make this escrow soup. I made it with garlic, onions, chicken stock, lemon juice, escrow, and some pasta. Although, I definitely used the wrong kind of pasta here. I couldn't find smaller ones at the store, but this still turned out really good. In my ceramics class, we're learning how to apply screen print on the clay surface using colored slip. I want to make a teapot for the screen print to go on.
this is what it looks like after bisque firing. Some of the screen print got smudged when I printed it on, but I like the placement. What color should I glaze it? This is a vase that I made recently as well. I put a black underglaze paint on it and carved into it too, similar to the mug I showed earlier. This is the back side. 